Hey there, this is Zunmesh and welcome to another Photo Tip Friday. It doesn't matter whether it's Friday or not, but today I have an awesome tip to make difficult selections quick and easy. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. You see, we usually use adjustment brushes to make our images look prettier, right? To make some adjustments. But today I'm going to be talking about an alternative uses of adjustment brush and application that you will love. But before we get into it, I've got to sh I've got to show you something up front. Have a look at this image. Now, as you can see, that this image is high key, which means that it's very bright. It's a light image. Now, if I select the quick selection tool and try to select it that what will happen is, as you can see, that the selection spills out of his coat. Why? Because there's not much contrast between the subject and the background. Both are very bright. Now, if I asked you to select me, you would do that in two minutes. Why? Because I'm wearing a dark blue tracksuit and I have a white background. It's easy for the quick selection tool to figure out the edges because it's contrasty, but in this case, it is not. What this means is, quick selection tool requires contrast to make perfect selection. It requires contrast to determine where the edges are, which in this case is not present. Now, let's deselect that, Control D or Command D if you're using a Mac. I have this image of a man and I have a wood background. Now, I would like to cut the white background and place him on that, uh, this background. How do I make a selection? Remember that I told you, quick selection tool requires contrast. What if we give contrast to the quick selection tool and once it makes the selection, we remove the contrast? This kind of temporary contrast effect or adjustment is only available through adjustment layer, right? So let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer and we'll create levels to do this job. So to create an adjustment layer, all you need to do, click on this icon, half gray, half, you know, white circle and select levels. Now all we need to do, drag the left slider to the right until you see contrast between this coat and this background. All right, still not there, still not there. Yes, we have begun to see contrast. Now this is pretty good. Now you might say, but this image is looking terrible. His face has gone black. This is looking so awful. Here's the thing. Once you make the selection, this is an adjustment layer. This is non-destructive. This is temporary. All you have to do, you have to drag it and delete it. Now, if you go ahead, select this layer, man, and select the quick selection tool. Now, when you select the man, as you can see, the selection will not spill out. Not at all. Watch. It's a beautiful selection. Let's zoom in quite a bit. And yeah, we are pretty much done. You can zoom in more if you want and see whether it selected all of it. All right, now this seems pretty nice. Okay, we can always refine the selection later, but this gives you an amazing starting point. All right, here there's a little bit of selection left. So we would just make the brush a little bit bigger and make this selection pretty good. All right, now all you need to do, delete. Don't delete, okay, let's turn off this levels layer. All right, you can delete it, but I'm just turning it off. Now we have the selection. All you need to do now is to click on the mask button, this one, and voila, you have it. Amazing, isn't it? Now you can always go ahead and refine the selection if you want. Let's turn off the wood layer and let's see whether the selection that we did is right or not. There's a little bit of refining to be done here, a little bit of refining to be done here. But that can be easily done, how? Select and mask. Make sure this mask is selected, then click on this select and mask. Or select and mask option was here too, at the top. Now, you can change the view to maybe on black, on, on black, 
all right and now let's figure out what selection you want to refine so you we want to refine the selections uh, near the hair right so select the refiners tool this one is the refiners tool and just paint over the area bingo you don't have to do anything much all right And that's it. Now you can always go ahead and refine the selection as much as you want. If you want to refine this, you just paint over it, right? You can also refine with the brush tool if you want. So if this area is left, you can just simply paint over it, make the brush a little bit harder. To make the brush harder or softer, press and hold alter option, right mouse button, drag it upwards to make it softer, drag it downwards to make it harder. So you can make the selection if you want. The way you want it, you can have some refine edge here and there. That would be pretty good. No, I think the brush is a nice choice to fill in for the selection. And I hope you got the idea about what exactly I'm talking. All right, so this one, pretty good. Okay, click okay. This is a very rough selection. You can refine it later. Uh, later. But you get the point, right? You know, now we have a nice selection. We can switch on the background and we're good to go. So that was a quick clip there for more tips, tricks, tutorials that not everybody talks about. Don't just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.